Hi, this is Steve from Thermal Care Technical Service Department. Today we're going to be discussing the internal Y strainer and the chiller systems, why they're important, why we need them, and how to do maintenance on them. The Y strainer in your system is highly important. Uh, your new chiller system is built with a micro channel braze plate heat exchanger, which has extremely small passages in the evaporator for water to pass. What that means when water passes through the evaporator through the small channels is we can increase the efficiency of your system. The problem is water is not perfect. Debris falls into the system. Once it falls into the water system, it then gets dragged through the evaporator. Once the evaporator gets plugged, the system will become fouled. What we try to do to prevent this is we install in our systems Y strainers. What the Y strainer does is the Y strainer basically is the very simple pre-filter for the system to try and remove any kind of small debris or particle from the water before it makes it to the evaporator, extending the life of your chiller. What we're going to be discussing here is we're going to be discussing the maintenance on the system, how to remove, and how to identify and find the strainer in your new chiller system. For those of you that have a central chiller system, it's probably going to look fairly close to this. You have your inlet water, which then gets distributed into two heat exchangers, out of the heat exchangers, out to your process. Here's the location of your Y strainer. Your Y strainer, again, is gonna be located on the inlet water line to the evaporator. As you're gonna go do your maintenance, these are the isolation valves that I was referring to earlier. You're gonna close these valves. Once these valves are closed, you will open your purge valve once no more water is coming out, remove your bolts and your strainer is going to be located right behind the plate. Now I want to start talking about what to look for, the possibilities of issues arising because of the strainer being dirty. Big thing to take a look at once the system is running, if you start seeing issues where you're not producing enough cool water to your system, or you're just not getting enough water pressure that you used to out of the system. One of the first things to take a look at again is the pressure gauge located on your chiller system. Let's start talking about maintenance on the Y strainer. First thing before we begin, please, we recommend safety glasses must be worn at all times by doing this. I do recommend that you follow your company's PPE policy in order to protect yourself. The Y strainer located on the inlet to the chiller systems to the evaporator um, on the central chiller systems is going to look a lot like this. This is actually a large evaporator that this is going to be providing uh, filtration for. Maintenance on the Y strainers on the larger central chiller systems. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do, you want to stop the water flow through the strainer. Once the water flow is stopped and you have this isolated, you then will have to take a garden hose or some, some form of um, drain line, run it over to a drain so that you're safely draining the little bit of water that's left in the strainer to a safe location. Once the drain line is hooked up, you will want to open your valve. With the valve open, it will then continue to drain the system. Once you are no longer have any water coming out of the system, you're going to want to now open up the plate. To open the plate, this particular one is using a three quarter inch open end wrench. You're going to undo all four bolts. Once all four bolts are removed, please move them to a safe location. Remember, we will be reusing these bolts. The bolts removed. Hold on to the plate, it is not light. This is a heavy duty flange. Straight out the flange, put that off to the side. Once the flange is removed, remove the gasket. Careful not to split it, put that off to the side. Pull the strainer straight out. Now you're ready to clean. Once you have the strainer removed, go to a slop sink, uh, go to a, an area that's designated for cleaning, clean the inside of the strainer out properly, 
Make sure there's no more debris or any obstructions stuck in the strainer. For cleaning of the strainer, you can use a wire brush, a rag, um, a scotch pad, something along those lines to help scrub. Once your strainer is clean and clear of all debris, reset the strainer back into the housing. Please note, inside the housing, there is a lip that this will sit in. If it is not properly seated, the strainer will then be protruding out further than it's supposed to and will not seal. So make sure that it is properly seated. Once it's seated, it will not move from side to side. Then take your gasket and again, carefully place it back in location. Press down, it will hold. Then take your plate, put your plate back up to it. Once again, on the back side of the plate, there is a groove in which the strainer itself will sit in that holds it in place. So gently put it back in place. Once it's in place, it will not slide back and forth because the strainer is now properly seated. Once in place, go ahead and put your screws back in. Once your bolts are back in and the flange is, is now on, put it, everything back together finger tight. Once it's finger tight, then take your wrench I want you to tighten this in a crisscross pattern, just like you would with a car tire. Always go across, never go next to each other. Reason for that is if you happen to go in a circle and don't tighten it properly, what could happen is you could end up warping the flange and causing unwanted leaks. Once the flange is then down and tightened, Go ahead and close your drain line, disconnect your drain hose, slowly open your water line to repressurize the system. Once your water's back on, you've now completed maintenance on your central chiller. To locate the strainer on the portable chiller system is gonna be located in the water line, leading to the evaporator. Once again, to protect the evaporator from any kind of debris. What you wanna do is you need to first stop the system you will need to drain and purge the bit of water that is near the strainer. Strainers are typically located at the low point of the chiller system, so you will have to end up draining it unless equipped with optional valves. First things you're gonna do, once I identify the strainer, you're gonna remove the front nut. By doing this, what you'll end up doing is you will be able to purge the water line. Once the water is purged, you then must remove the larger nut. Once the larger nut is removed, please note there is a nylon seal around the top of the head to prevent any kind of leaks. Behind there is a strainer. Just like the larger style strainer, the strainer itself has a seated uh, bevel inside of it that the strainer sits in. Once you're reassembling it, please make sure it's reseated. To clean, again, go to your slop sink or your designated cleaning area. You can take a wire brush, brush it out real good to get any kind of debris out of the system. Once everything is clean and clear, you are then safe to reassemble. While sliding the strainer back in, please make sure it is seated in the bevel. Once it's seated, it will not wiggle back and forth. Take the larger nut. There is no beveled space inside of here. It is machined to fit inside of the cap. Tighten it back up. Put it to hand tight. Once hand tight, take your wrench. Give it about another quarter turn to tighten. Once that's tightened, take the end plug, go ahead and tighten that down as well. Once it's hand tight, give it about another full turn around. Now your wire strainer is reassembled. On the portable chiller systems, again the wire strainer is going to be located between the pump and the evaporator located here. 
I have an example of a poorly maintained chiller system in the field. Uh, I had a had a customer call me explaining to me the issues that they were seeing, just like I was explaining to you. I asked them to then pull the strainer. As they pulled the strainer, we then found that the system was so clogged with dirt and debris in the system that we were no longer able to get any water movement through the system. At this point, there is no going back. Once this is as clogged as it is, the entire strainer must be replaced. We are not able to get any of the debris out of it as solid. Once we changed that out, we were still able to save the evaporator. The evaporator did not split. We did not have any issues. So thank goodness to a strainer, we saved an entire chiller system. And all it took was just a couple dollar strainer change out and the system was operational once again. I wanna say thank you for following us today. Um, I hope you found the video informative. Um, should you have any questions regarding your chiller system, please feel free to reach out to the Thermal Care Service Department. Uh, please see our website for phone number and email address.